Flash. I'm Cecilia Halley. I'm August Rosenberg. And today we're interviewing Arlene Sheckett, and we're both from the Teen Arts Council. Uh, so the first question uh, for Arlene would be, uh, growing up, what sparked your interest in art? I love the smell of art supply stores. Uh, and I went around to a lot of museums. My mother was a painter, uh, did painting at home. So not as a professional, but as a hobby, I just loved looking at art. And, and so at a very young age, it just was part of my life. So what kind of teen were you when you were growing up? <laughs> well, many kinds of teen, <laughs> because I think the teenage years were so complicated that you can go through so many different stages of who you think you are, who you become, who you want to be. So all of, so I think I was really shy and retiring early on. Spent a lot of time daydreaming and just hanging out by myself and maybe drawing or maybe reading. And then I gradually uh, you know, came out of my shell, or suddenly came out of my shell. I think I sort of woke up, came out of my shell, and was like, bat out of hell. <laughs> I want to try everything. I want to do everything. Uh, and, and I just remember my parents saying, wow, what just happened? You know, like, <laughs> so changed really quickly to being vocal, very politically engaged, and um, interested in things outside of of uh, my family, interested in the world. When did you first consider yourself an artist? I, I don't think I announced it to myself. I grew into it gradually. I didn't, it wasn't something that I thought I should do. I had questions about whether it was too indulgent a life, um, whether I shouldn't be more politically related to the world rather than related through the work. Who are some artists that have influenced you and maybe do influence you now? I'll tell you this one thing. Um, when I was in art school, I would just go into the library and look at whatever books happened to be left out on people's tables. So what other people were, you know, happened to, the randomness of what other people were looking at introduced me to so much. Like if you always just go towards what you know and what you like, then you just keep expanding in that. And my interest was to expand and know and discover outside of that. So what is it like being a woman in the art world? Um, and mm. do you have any feminist themes All in right. your work? Because yeah. uh, like really getting down to yeah. <laughs> serious business. We read that you were, took part in some uh, feminist movements in the 60s and stuff like that. So. Um, what is it like to be a woman in the art world is pretty much what it's like to be a woman citizen of the world, yeah. which is that it's still a struggle. It's still not equal pay for equal work, if you want to think of it like that. It's still an, up, an uphill battle, um, and it, it's... Um, improved, but it's not solved. Did you ever incorporate um, feminist themes into your work? In terms of specific political information, I'm not within my work making a readable political statement because my work what I'm interested in in making artwork is to have the pieces resonate not as simple statements. For instance, I'm in much more interested in having people come to them and even not know what they are. I rather, I prefer not the not knowing and the, the open questions to be, to a description. So what attracts you to sculpture in particular? I just needed to dig as deep as I could go into something and make it out of thin air rather than here's a canvas, 
you know, do something on it. That's not thin air enough for me. So your pieces have a very accessible, almost like natural form to them. Mm -hmm. Does the body or natural shapes influence your work at all? I think sculpture is almost impossible to separate from the body. I mean, it's another kind of body. Even if it wasn't making a body form, its presence is physical in the way another being is in the room. What has it been like to kind of go through all of the work you've made and mm. create an, a retrospective that accurately represents you as an artist and represents your body of work? Difficult. What you're gonna see is only really a part of what I did. So the, the show, you know, is telling one story. It's not necessarily the story, it's telling the story that Janelle, the curator, and I have agreed to tell in the way we're telling it, and it's more or less chronological. We decided to keep you know, that sort of simple system. And strangely, every day I have an encounter with one of these works where I can remember exactly where I was standing when I made it, or the thing I had for lunch, or, you know, it's like, like some part of me, you know, just being in some state I no long, longer am, but that I see that and I remember it and it's, it's very alive in that thing. All right, so this is the lightning round. <laughs> Get ready. All right, what is your favorite band from the 70s? I don't know, Lou Reed, Lou Velvet Reed. Underground. Cool, awesome. good choice. Um, so, if you could have any other occupation, what would it be? Scientist. Scientist. All right. Um, fave social media. Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, if you could have one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? I, I that would be really so hard. One Yogurt. Years old. Yogurt. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is your favorite museum in the world? The Metropolitan Museum of Art. A good one. Okay, final question: Aliens, real or not? <laughs> real. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, cool. So um, that about concludes us for this interview. Uh, I just want to close it off by uh, letting you, if you want to, say any um, closing statements. Oh, I want to say that I think it's so cool that you're doing this, and and that. And that I wish I had gotten a chance to do this when I was your age. Seems really, seems like a good way to get inside of things because I didn't really know an artist or get to talk to an artist. So, um, I, I mean, maybe you should do this with plumbers too and, you know, uh, other professions, not just, not just artists because it is mysterious how, how people get, end up doing things. Awesome. Yeah.